Hello, welcome to the Roy Rogers News Channel. Thank you so much for watching. All right, today, the Lunar New Year event has arrived here on Poke MMO on February 1st of 2022. Let's go ahead and dive into update revision number 19,345 right now. I am back! Let's go ahead and discuss the changelog for the Lunar New Year of 2022 right now. Features! Lunar New Year 2022. Lunar New Year has returned to Poke MO. A fortune teller has appeared in Celadon City in the Kanto region, Slateport City in the Hoenn region, Hartholm City in the Sinnoh region, and Nasserine City in the Innova region, which is where we are taping right now. So if you want to activate the event, all you have to do is just speak to the lady here. And it is quite crowded in Unova, since Unova is the main region here on PokeMO. But we are going to cut over to Sinnoh so that you can see where to chat with the lady there. So we're going to be back. All right, we are in Heart Home City. And while I had to take a pause break, someone asked in the global chat, perfect timing, Someone asked where you can do the event, and we are at Heart Home right now. So, what perfect timing to ask a question like that. All right. Now, Heart Home City is not that crowded because not a lot of people explore Sinnoh as of time of this taping. So, you can go to the fortune teller here, and you could be able to spawn the event. Or, you can go to Slateport, which we can cut to that right now. All right, we are here at the Slateport City in the Hoenn region. And you can speak to the fortune teller right over here. So feel free to chat with her in order to go to the Lunar New Year event. Or you can go to Celadon in Kanto, which we can cut to right now. Alrighty, we are here in Celadon City. You can go south here and you can speak with the fortune teller over here. So feel free to chat with her if you would like to spawn the event. Although you need two to four people in the link, counting yourself. So feel free to reach out to people either in the global chat or in your friends list. Abundant Shrine is a two to four player co-op mission. Defeat as many enemies as possible and may good fortune shine upon you. This event will run from February 1st until February 10th. 0, 0 UTC plus 0. Players will have one day to finalize any runs. Prizes will be distributed on February 11th, 0, 0 UTC plus 0. Lunar New Year 2022 features a leaderboard with an exclusive vanity for the top 50 teams, the Neon Hood. So let's go ahead and cut briefly to the forums and see what this looks like. In addition to the Neon Hood, the number one team will receive an exclusive vanity, the Shiny Neon Hood. Let's go ahead and cut to that right now. So this is what the regular Neon Hood looks like, and this is what the Shiny Neon Hood looks like. All right, so I wish you all the best in terms of fighting for that. In order to see the leaderboard rankings, you can go ahead and chat with the Polytoad here. Now, Polytoad exists in all four of the regions, so there should be a Polytoad in Kanto, which you see here, Polytoad in Hoenn, Polytoad in Sinnoh, and Polytoad in Unova. Polytoad will give you all the leaderboard rankings right now. So the highest rank as of the time of this taping is 1,100, but I'm sure that it's probably going to increase as the days go by. So feel free to compete for the Neon Hood or the Shiny Neon Hood if you're really confident about your Lunar New Year skills. All right, we are going to cut to the update log since the update log gives us visuals for the gift shop. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Gift shop. The Golden Tiger Mask is now available for a limited time. This item has a special effect when used. Bind it to a hotkey to roar it at any nearby players. This is the first time in Pokemon's history where a vanity can roar, which is quite an accomplishment. And we can test out the roar after we're done reading the gift shop part of the update log. The red dragon particle effect is now available for a limited time. All right. Seasonal 
firework particles have returned for Lunar New Year 2022. Seasonal shiny charms plus 10% have returned for Lunar New Year 2022. And the red dragon head, tail, and body have returned for Lunar New Year 2022. All right, we're gonna cut back to the game. For you, the people, I purchased a golden tiger mask, so that way you can hear the sound effect. And you have to wear the tiger hat in order to activate it. So first you need to wear it, then you can activate it. So. There we go. Now I don't wanna do it too much because I don't wanna bother the people around me, but this roar can be heard by other players. That's why I only want to do it once. So I wanted to do it for demonstration purposes. And now let's go ahead and discuss the changes. Changes. Several classes of items can now be used more than one at a time when used out of battle. The format for overworld sprites and trainer sprites in mods have changed. Overworld sprites and trainer sprites are now organized by region ID folders where region IDs are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The expected mod format is now, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the update log so you can take a look at the mod format. This is what the mod format is. So feel free to locate that if you're a person that likes to make mods here on Pokemo. All right, and now it's time for us to dive into the bug fixes. Bug fixes. Fixed a crash which could occur with Java 17 runtime environments during initial setup. Team leader characters can no longer be deleted. To delete these characters, first pass on the leadership of a team or disband it. Fixed a crash which could occur if ROMs provided corrupt audio data. Android improved various item inventory UIs, and dumplings are now edible. All right, and thank you so much for watching. And if I'm missing anything with my update log coverage, then feel free to check out Petrosky's update coverage if you would like to hear more commentary about this particular update. I can link the video in the end screen here, so feel free to check it out. This is the Roy Rogers News Channel. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to our channel, like the content that you see here. And this is the Roy Rogers News Channel signing off. Fast, accurate, unbiased, Roy Rogers News.